Well, some of you may have been curious about the status of these, well, what were eggs in that small female's mouth. So, just to kind of refresh your memory, it was this female here, okay? She's the smallest fish in the tank, almost half the size of the bigger males. Uh, this little female, one of the other ones I'm pretty sure is a female, I think it's this one, which is the smaller of the, of the three big ones. Anyway, so it was the littlest female that had the eggs, and uh, we've got three tubes full of babies now. The littler tube, a big one that we built in a pinch, and then a second one that we built in a pinch. Uh, and we built these to be egg tumblers, and we've got, my god, I, I'm not even going to try to count, but I'm going to estimate at least 200 baby fry that have hatched out. I really think we only lost maybe maybe five percent of the eggs uh, got fungus and uh, failed on us but a very impressive hatch rate in all honesty. Uh, I'm impressed anyway I'm not the fish keeper my wife is the fish keeper but this is kind of my project with the tilapia. Um, but very impressive survival rate on the hatch assuming they continue to survive. The reason they're in this uh, separate tote within the tank. You see they're isolated. Um, and why the tubes are within that tote is we've actually been treating the water with just a couple drops of uh, this methylene methylene blue and uh, I actually asked my wife, I challenged her on I said, I, you know, I don't know if that's considered uh, organic or not. Um, she said it is. She said it is, uh, it's essentially just tea tree oil which is an antifungal um, essential oil. I don't know that for a fact. Don't quote me on that, but that's what she said. So anyway, we, we treated um, this water that the eggs were in with that, just a couple drops, and that was trying to prevent um, any more of them from molding than already did. Um, but really, yeah, we lost maybe maybe 5%, maybe less. It, well, I mean, you could count how we've been counting, how we decided to count. We could have counted how many eggs we pulled out that were molded, and I can tell you it was a heck of a lot less than how many hatched. Uh, so anyway, it's a lot of fun watching them. <laughs> they they sit here and pop around inside there. They've all still got their big uh, egg sacs on. And uh, again, I'm just trying to tell you what she's told me because I haven't studied it enough yet. But she said we're not supposed to feed them any, start feeding them until they've um, consumed their egg sac. Once they've consumed up that sac, if we feed them before that, that food will just go to waste and then you'll have bad water quality. So <laughs> we'll wait until they've consumed up their egg sac on their own and then start feeding them. But they're pretty fun. They're pretty cute. They're uh, odd looking to say the least, but they're kind of cute in their own little way. So anyway, just thought I'd share that little update. Uh, turns out breeding tilapia is pretty doggone easy because I didn't do anything. I just let it happen. 